there is nothing that is more harmful to our environment, to our public health, to our economy, to our national and international security than our addiction to oil. What comes out of a tailpipe of your car or your truck has chemical toxins that are very similar to what comes out of a cigarette. The behavior of oil and auto companies over the last uh, hundred years has been very similar to that of tobacco companies, lying to regulators, uh, lying to the public about the safety of their products, about the harms, uh, stalling those kinds of improvements that might have made the products uh, safer. De ritamine in de milieuadviseur van gouverneur Schwarzenegger staat in de frontlijn van de strijd tegen de broeikasgassen in Californië en de Verenigde Staten. In zijn boek Lives per Gallon wint hij er geen doekjes om. It's lobbying and lies. De vijand is de olie- en automobielindustrie. Well, we took tobacco companies to court. We ought to do the same with oil and auto companies and force them to give up some of their amazing profits and put it back into the pockets of the taxpayers who are currently paying for uh, environmental cleanup and for health care costs. Tell him he's too much like George W. Bush. Gouverneur Arnold Schwarzenegger mag dan al van dezelfde politieke partij zijn als president Bush. Zijn milieupolitiek staat haaks op die van het Witte Huis. Ondanks een macho imago en zijn voorliefde voor zware motoren en terreinwagens, heeft Schwarzenegger zich ontpot tot de groenste gouverneur van de Verenigde Staten. When he was a boy in Austria, he talks about the fact that as he grew up and he came to understand a little about America, he saw California as this amazing uh, dream in the distance uh, of golden beaches and beautiful mountains and skiing and, and wonderful tanned bodies and, and healthy people. And he wanted to be part of that. And when he came here, he was uh, struck by the fact that when he would work out at Venice Beach that his lungs would burn from the smog and his eyes would tear up. He had this vision, he wanted to participate in the great golden dream as he calls it, and found it tarnished and wants to do something to fix it, not only for himself, but obviously he has four kids, so he thinks about a lot of this through the eyes of his children. Californians love cars. We love passenger cars. They express our individuality. So what we need is a vehicle that can look at all three of these issues and still be something that's fun to drive. And that's why our members look at hydrogen running through a fuel cell. The waterstofauto is the auto van de toekomst, geloven ze in Californië. Nul uitstoot en geruisloos. Een consortium van automakers probeert het publiek warm te maken met demonstraties en proefritten. You get uh, double the energy efficiency, even upwards of three times the energy efficiency for certain models. And even taking into account the energy needed to make hydrogen, um, and of course it takes energy to make any fuel, whether it's gasoline, hydrogen, or electricity, you still overall have a net energy benefit with the fuel cell. People are very excited about electric drive vehicles. Um, there's of course a lot of interest and excitement about hybrid vehicles and these are also electric vehicles but rather than plugging them into the wall um, we fuel them with hydrogen and the electricity is generated on board the vehicle from the fuel cell. Ja, het eerste eigenlijk het enige wat opvalt in zo'n auto is uh, de stilte. Je hoort geen motor. Maar al de rest is uh, net hetzelfde. Het is uh, optrekken zoals in een gewone auto en dat doet hij uh, heel behoorlijk. Hydrogen can be made from a diverse array of different energy sources, from traditional sources like, sources like natural gas to renewable alternative sources such as biomass, such as solar power and wind power. And the diversity allows increased energy security because we're not dependent on just one source. Uh, for our fuel. Er zijn op dit ogenblik 24 waterstoftankstations in Californië. De Hydrogen Highway is het plan van gouverneur Schwarzenegger om dat netwerk uit te breiden zodat je over enkele jaren in heel Californië waterstof kunt tanken. We're very focused right now in working in partnership with the California government to make sure that we can get more hydrogen stations in California and those that are there are highly accessible to all the people who are driving these, these early vehicles. Deze brouwerij in Chico in Californië zal binnenkort helemaal onafhankelijk zijn van het elektriciteitsnet voor haar energiebehoeften. Het bedrijf produceert zelf de waterstof waarmee de brandstofcellen worden gevoed. De rest komt van zonnepanelen en biomassa. De gouverneur en de staat staan volop achter deze zoektocht naar alternatieve energie.
of course it's important to see how we make the hydrogen. We don't want to make it from dirty sources of electricity or, or, or uh, carbon materials uh, because then we're not really solving the problem. But it is possible to make it from renewables and from clean sources and uh, create enough energy to, to power our future.